In 2022, more than 20,000 people died from firearm deaths, and that's excluding suicides. 1,676 were children. Washington University pediatrician at St. Louis Children's Hospital, Lindsay Klukies, says it's becoming all too common to see kids with bullet wounds. We see sometimes multiple kids every week, um, sometimes more than one in a day. It's up to us to put a barrier between a child and a firearm. That's why they spearheaded a program called No Questions Asked in their level one trauma hospital. It's a very simple concept. We put a basket of free gun locks in our triage waiting room. According to a report by the CDC, 85% of unintentional firearm deaths among children could have been prevented if the firearm had been stored with a gun lock. The National Shooting Sports Foundation also recommends using gun locks. They offer free gun locks to gun owners nationwide through their project Child Safe program. To find out how to get a free gun lock in your neighborhood, go to projectchildsafe.org. I always say that the scream of a, of a parent or a guardian or a, a caregiver, um, once we tell them that their child is shot and not survived, is something that I, I can't describe. It's something that I'll never forget. I'm Leslie Hudson reporting.